नमस्कार वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ आर सेटिंग जगन्नाथ थोड़ा सॉफ्टवेयर by now we have seen the dynamisha that i use the siddhanta that i use planetary calculations as i use upagraha calculation as i use and the concept of divisional charms i'll go for to explain uh, my preferred preferences for that but before we continue many thanks to sri vivian narsimha rao ji for creating this software and giving it free to the astro society we are always highly indebted to him Let's proceed further with the video. We are dealing with the calculation and settings of Rahu in the software, and I am going to tell you one of my biggest, greatest researches on Rahu. In this video, so stay up to that. in the software you are supposed to go to preferences related to calculations and nodal exaltation and debilitation sign options now there is a uh, there are multiple options given in class x regarding this particular topic beth parashar hora shastra is of the opinion that rahu is exalted in taurus and ketu is exalted in scorpio right but some people opine that this exaltation and debilitation is only for the calculation of longevity or only for the longevity purpose whereas text whereas uh, classics such as fal deepika etc take rahu to be exalted in gemini ketu to be exalted in sagittarius the own sign of rahu to be virgo and the own is uh, and the own sign of the ketu to be pisces right other than this there are other texts as well prasna text generally take rahu exalted in aquarius and ketu exalted in leo some prasna texts in kerala does this whereas If you go to Gemini astrology, where the Karikas specifically mention that Ketu rules over Scorpio and Rahu rules over Aquarius, so this leads to the confusion. This leads to a confusion about which calculation is right. or which opinion should be followed if i have to choose one of the options i will choose rahu is exalted in gemini and ketu is exalted in sagittarius for predictive purpose and rahu is exalted in taurus and ketu is exalted in leo for longevity purposes what i will do right but actually i don't use this thing i don't use this particular calculation i think this approach of taking rahu and ketu exalted in a particular sign comes through negligence of the opinion which is given in prime astrological classes of course vara mehir is silent on the exaltation debilitation etc of rahu and ketu vara mehir have ignored rahu and ketu i will go by the opinion of udai pradeep also known as lagu parashri also known as jatak chandriya and the opinion of bbhs brit parashar hora shastra and this is something that i have been uh, teaching to my students throughout all of my courses the role is simple that rahu and ketu give result as per the planet they are conjoined with if they are not conjoined with any planet then they give result according to the planet who aspects them and if there is no aspect in that scenario they give 
result according to their sign disposal. They give result as per their sign lot. So if they are, if Rahu is in Gemini, he will give result as according to Mercury, etc. Now, You should understand two things into it. Two, three things needs to be understood. This thing is one of my greatest, one of my greatest secrets in, on Rahu and Ketu if I have to the position of nodes. The first thing is the rules are given in a chronological order. Point one, if there is any planet conjoined with Rahu and Ketu, they give result according to the planet. If no planet is conjoined, mind it, if no planets are conjoined, then look for aspects. And even if no planet is aspecting, only then check for the dispositor. This is rule number one. Understood my point. If there is a planet situated with Rahu and Ketu, don't go with the planet who's aspecting it. This is what I want to say. One. Second read. In the last part of it, in the last part of the dictum that I have just mentioned, it is written that Rahu and Ketu give result according to the dispositor. Now, according to the dispositor means that Suppose if the dispositor of Rahu is Venus, then if the dispositor of the Rahu, that is Venus in this particular case, is exalted, then Rahu is also supposed to behave like exalted. If the dispositor of the Rahu is in Mulitrikona, Libra, suppose Rahu is in Taurus, then Rahu is also going to behave as he is in Mulutrikona. For good result, secondary good result, top good result in exaltation, secondary good result in Mulutrikona. If Venus is debilitated, then Rahu is also going to behave like he is debilitated. If Venus is afflicted, then Rahu is also going to give result like he is afflicted. If Venus is weak, then Rahu is also going to give result like he is weak. <clears throat> this is the Second thing that needs to be understood. And the same thing, because for the sake of explanation, I have told this thing before, although this should come at the third place while I will be discussing the technique. So now come to the technique in my research. What I have found that for the exaltation, debilitation, Mulatrikona of Rahu and Ketu, this particular technique should be used. So Rahu and Ketu will first give the result of the planet they are conjoined with. So suppose Rahu is conjoined with Venus in Gemini, then there is no problem at all. But suppose Rahu is with Saturn in Capricorn. In that scenario, Saturn is an own sign. And because Rahu is also going to behave like Saturn, you should take Rahu as being situated in his own sign as well. Another case, take uh, suppose that Rahu is with Mars in Capricorn. Then because Mars is exalted and he is with Rahu, the Rahu is going to behave like as he is exalted as well. This is the research technique. This is my research technique regarding exaltation, debilitation, mulutrikona, etc. of Rahu and Ketu. And if you go and test it in practical horoscopes, I guarantee you that the results will be amazing, phenomenal, and exceptional. Sometimes even in classics, the opinions are contradictory. And you have to find your own way as per the understandings that you get from the parampara. That's why parampara is given this much importance. Because parampara have an undiluted knowledge. 
whereas the knowledge in books can get diluted, influenced, or even distorted. I will wish to give you a few examples on this. But regarding Rahu, I will add one uh, flying point right here. That according to many classics, Rahu give good result in Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, and Aquarius. Whereas Ketu give good results in Leo. Scorpio, Pisces, and Libra. This is the opinion of many texts, many classical authoritative astrological texts. Reading this, don't get confused, good result, don't get confused, don't confuse the good result, don't confuse the Raj Yoga result with the result of being exalted, etc. There's a clear discrimination between a planet who is creating Raja Yoga and a planet who is exalted. I have made uh, one video on the remedies of Rahu as per every house. I will specifically recommend you to go through that video, search on the YouTube channel. I will specifically tell you and recommend you to go through that video to know more about Rahu and Ketu. Now let's see a few examples about how this particular technique works that I'm sharing with you right now. Now let me see a few examples of this technique. You know about the significations of Rahu, right? I'm not gonna explore the significations of Rahu. I'm just going to Take Rahu as a planet who makes people famous. As Rahu is highly famed, Rahu is a demon. And I think he is the only demon whose fame is that great. And along with that, there is a very peculiar trait of Rahu is that when every god and demon was bewildered by the Mohini Avatar of Sri Vishnu, it was only Rahu who was able to overcome the temptation of Mohini Avatar and keep his eyes straight on the pot of nectar. Let's see chart of a few people. I have a whole lot of techniques just based on this particular thing. Just based on this particular technique, I can I make some 15, 30, 15, 20 predictions. I'm just going to discuss one out of it. This is the chart of Sri Amitabh Bachchan. As you can see, in this chart, Ketu is the planet which indicates the, which, which have, have the condition applicable on himself. Ketu is in the ascendant alone, without, not with any planet. Ketu is then expected by Jupiter from the fifth house and this Jupiter is Varagottam and as you know Varagottam planets are powerful but this Jupiter is not powerful in the D1 chart Amitabh gave seven flops and then succeeded another example is the chart of Justin Bieber who have Rahu in the ascendant and there is no planet Rahu Saturn from the fourth house aspects Rahu by his tenth aspect. And Saturn is in his Mula Trigona sign Aquarius. 
giving meteoric rise and such a great fame to Justice Bieber. In my personal practice, I have seen many such charts where this condition is applicable. And such people are fortunate, well to do. They have meteoric rise, quite influential, and there are many other things. As I have already told you, that I have some 15, 20 techniques just out of this simple technique. 15, 20 sub techniques of the simple technique. God willing, I will soon teach all these techniques in a webinar or a course. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.